the way I look at it, it's just a thing. And as long as I keep that attitude that we can fix it, then um, it's not that bad. Uh, Stan is an excellent candidate for CyberKnife radio surgery. He has an acoustic neuroma, which is a benign tumor that often presents with hearing loss and ringing in the ears. Uh, there are many treatment options for this acoustic neuroma, including uh, standard surgical resection, also other types of radiation therapy, uh, radio surgery that's delivered in one shot, such as the gamma knife, and also standard radiation therapy, which takes uh, about five weeks to deliver. Radio surgery is using a focused radiation that can be contoured uh, to a lesion, to a target or tumor, very precisely with a sub-millimeter accuracy. Um, so we're treating it with radiation, but we're treating it with radiation that is focused on a lesion. Therefore, you can give a very high dose and minimize radiation to anything surrounding it. After discussing with Mr. Davis, radio surgery seemed like by far the best option for treatment for him. Patients are always more comfortable being treated in town when they can be treated in town. Uh, for most patients, their social network, uh, their emotional support, uh, their family uh, are in town and they have better access to that. Uh, they take less time off work. There are fewer expenses related to lodging and travel when they stay in town. It pretty much became a no-brainer. When you can, you can stay here locally and do it, um, it's non-invasive, and the results uh, are the same with probably less side effects. Mr. Davis's treatment will be uh, performed in three different fractions, which means he'll have three separate treatments on three sequential days. Each treatment will probably take about 40 minutes. Um, the reason we do this, and this is also an advantage of the CyberKnife, is that by splitting his treatment into three sessions, we actually reduce the risk of neurologic complications. Most specifically, we reduce the risk of hearing loss due to the radiation itself. The team that's involved with the planning uh, include a neurosurgeon, whose major role is to identify tumor as well as other structures in the brain that we want to minimize radiation to. A radiation oncologist is involved, as well as a radiation physicist. And the role of the physicist often is to modify beam approaches, modify beam uh, pathways to help us attain our goals of minimizing radiation to structures that are sensitive and maximizing the radiation and the uniformity of radiation to the tumor itself. Really don't have a lot of fears. Um, pretty much if I've got it in through my head that this is going to work out, this is the best treatment and um, I'm going to be fine. Felt pretty good. I was, might have been just a little bit, a little bit nervous, um, but it went really well. I felt uh, once I got in there and everything was explained again, uh, it became very easy. The mask is snug. It's not tight. Uh, it's not uncomfortable. It basically just helps your head stay in position, so you're not moving around. Even immobilized in a mask, there is some movement. Patients breathing also a tendency to watch the machine because it does make noise moving around a patient. What the CyberKnife offers is that prior to administering every single beam of radiation, and there can be 150 beams easily in a single treatment, uh, x-rays are taken for localization purposes and they're compared with our preoperative studies to make sure that there is no motion of the patient or actually that the CyberKnife can um, counteract any positioning changes in the patient. So your accuracy with your cyber knife, or your error I should say, is less than one millimeter in terms of positioning. And so a big advantage of the cyber knife is just that we don't have to place a frame. Much more comfortable for the patient. The whole treatment overall from the time with setup and everything probably only takes 45 minutes maybe. Uh, it only takes a few minutes to get positioned and 
and they start your treatment. And when the treatment's done, you get up and, and walk out. You feel fine. Once Mr. Davis is done with his treatments, that is probably all the treatment he will need. Um, control rate using radio surgery for his particular type of tumor is about 95%, which means a 95% chance that this tumor will not grow in the future and often will shrink, in fact. Uh, not only do we look for the tumor to not grow over a period of time, and it may even shrink over a period of time, but we want to be sure that Mr. Davis's uh, hearing uh, is preserved and we also want to be sure that his ringing in the ears is not getting any worse and those are the goals of treatment. Yeah, at the end of the treatment that I had today I don't feel any different than I did this morning when I came in. Um, I feel perfectly normal. I'm ready to go back to work or continue doing anything I want to do today. <laughs>